Good morning, good morning, good morning, warriors of God, brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, beloved of God. Derek Lynn here with Praying for America and Time Spent with the Word. I heard a song my grandmother sung many, many years ago, and that is prayer is the key of heaven and faith unlocks the door. And if that is the way to the kingdom, she would say, I'm going to tell it wherever I go. Men are always to pray and not faint. If my people, the Word of God tells us, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. He says, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin, and I will heal the land. The land needs healing, and we, his people, must turn and return back to him. Spirit of truth, Father, in Jesus Christ's most holy name, as we come praying for America on this morning, I'm praying that the Ruh HaKadosh, the breath of God, will blow a fresh right now on us that we will receive insight, revelation into oversight as the spirit of wisdom is manifest on what to pray over this country on today. In Jesus' name, and I hear, give us this day, today, our daily bread in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Second Samuel chapter 22, and I want to go ahead to uh, verse number four. And the scripture reads, I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise. You see, first we will give him praise, glory, and honor, just like the order of the disciples' prayer that the Lord taught his disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, giving him reference, praise, glory, and honor. Then we can go down the list. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise. Our God is worthy of praise, worthy of adoration. He is worthy of thanksgiving. We exalt him. We extol him. We lift him high because he is king of all kings, Lord of all lords. In Jesus Christ's name, he says, and he saved me from my enemies. Come on, somebody. This is why we have to call on the name of the Lord, because when we call on him, he will save us from the hands of our enemies. America must call on the name of God. America must return back to praying. America needs leaders that will lead this country before the throne of grace. Come on, somebody. America needs leaders that will usher this country. My God, and this is possible because with God, all things are possible. America must, my God, in Jesus' name, pray that God will give us leaders that will be bold enough to stand, at, oh my God, behind a podium on a, a microphone, hold it in their hands and say, before I speak, before I do this, we will pray together as a nation. We need to be led back, my God, to God in Jesus' name on today. So we call on the Lord. Mm. The psalmist says, I call on the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me. This the, the scripture is saying, I called on the Lord who is worthy. I love that. Worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Come on, somebody. The enemies in our minds, the enemies in our bodies. Come on. When we call on him, we will be saved from our enemies. My God, you've heard the scripture that says no weapon formed. My God, they are forming weapons to destroy America. But no matter the type of weapons, I don't care. It can be a bazooka, whatever the weapons are. It could be an RPG. I don't care whatever the weapons are that they are forming against this country in the natural realm and in the occult, the spirit realm. Oh, the blood of Jesus supersedes every weapon. The word of God supersedes every weapon. This is why we have to pray for America because when we pray, it's like our prayers are like arrows that are being fired back at the enemies and all of the enemy's plans are being returned back to him. Oh my God, unaccomplished mission. My God can't in Jesus Christ, most holy name. Now let's pray for this country. My Lord God, Holy Ghost, thank you. Father, we lift up the USA into your hands. We are calling out to you. We are crying out to you. Forgive us as a nation from turning our backs on you, Father God. 
forgive us as a people. Father God, for not putting you first. We come crying out to you on today. We say, Father, deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Deliver America's White House. Deliver America's justice systems across this nation. Deliver America's Capitol Building. Deliver America's agencies. Deliver America's churches. Deliver America's military. Deliver America's schools. Deliver America industries. Deliver America businesses. Deliver America's hospitals. Deliver America's pharmaceutical companies. Marita Kiromoshea. Imarisere Tore Mariette Ki. In the mighty name of Jesus, from the evil and wicked men and women, the evil and wicked plots to destroy the family values and the people of this land. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, bring us back. If you have to drag America, drag her. If you have to pull her by the teeth, pull her. If you have to literally ring us, ring us and bring us back into your presence where we seek you first. Mm -hmm. Where you will give us leaders that will put you first. Give us leaders that will seek you first. Because a nation that fears the Lord will be praised. And a nation that put God first, God will put that nation first. And in America, Father, we say in God we trust. May it be so now and forevermore. In America, Father, we say we are one nation under God. May it be so now and forevermore. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, back up the prayer with the word of God. And so shall it be established in Jesus' name. Because God has an obligation. He has an obligation to back up his word. You give him, you give him back his word. He said, put me in remembrance of my word. I can guarantee you, we give God back his word regarding this country. God will show up and he will hear, not only hear, he will answer our prayers in Jesus name. Well, we're going to go and have a fabulous blessed day today. We serve the enemy notice. We say back off and back off for free. Why? Because we are sealed by the blood of Jesus, covered by the blood of Jesus, protected protected by the blood of Jesus, defended by the blood of Jesus. Oh my God, in favor by the blood of Jesus, blessed by the blood of Jesus, healed by the blood of Jesus, prosperous by the blood of Jesus. And we apply the blood of Jesus. And where the enemy sees the blood, he has to pass over us. Why? Because of the blood of the lamb. And we overcome by the word of our testimonies. Mm. Put on the whole arm of God and be strong on today. Until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you, bless me, keep you, keep me, preserve you, preserve me, cause you to conquer and cause me to conquer. Why? Because we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loves us. And until then, shalom.